I'm just having a casual kickback on my toilet to let you know that there are many things that people think they can flush down the toilet when in fact they can't. So in this video, we're gonna cover off many handfuls of items that people toss down the toilet, what they think is their own personal private dump site um, that actually should never go in the toilet. So come along with me as we flush this one out. I do feel like I'm posing for an album cover right now, but I'm here because I want to talk about why we shouldn't be flushing certain things down the toilet. Plumbing pipes are designed specifically to handle certain things, ones, twos, and toilet paper. If anything else goes down there, they can plug. And let me tell you, no one likes a plugged toilet. Next, your actual sewage system that your house connects to is only designed to handle certain types of things that get flushed away. Even certain biodegradable products can actually affect that sewage system, meaning tax dollars can eventually increase, meaning inconveniences can happen, odors can happen, things that are sort of on a more municipal level that we all feed into. And of course, there's the environmental aspect. You know, when things go into our waterways that shouldn't be there, it has all sorts of negative consequences. And we'll get into that sort of piece by piece as we go through the items that you shouldn't be flushing. You might be thinking, now surely tissue or Kleenex the brand name, can be flushed down the toilet. And the truth is, it can't. This is designed to clean snot from your nose, not to go down the toilet. And really, this is formulated in a different way than toilet paper, so it's not gonna break down the same way. You might think a little bit of frying oil never hurt anybody when you're just going to rinse out your frying pan. But the truth is that any fat, oil, or grease from cooking should not be dumped down the drain or flush down the toilet. And that goes for actually any food, whether it is fat, oil, grease, tomato sauce, soup, stew, stuff from your slow cooker, I don't care what it is. If you kind of screwed up the cooking or you made too much and you have nowhere to dump your leftovers, the toilet is not the place for it to go. Great for your gums, not great for sewage. The reason why you don't want to put floss down the toilet is, is because it can sort of become like a net. It weaves together, it can start to catch things and contribute to larger clogs that can happen not only in your plumbing system at home, but also in your municipal plumbing system, which leads to bigger problems down the line. Hair is another meshy, nesty kind of situation when you get your hair stuck in a sink or in a shower drain, you know what those clogs are like. Well, guess what? The same thing happens in toilets. So when you clean out your hairbrush, just make sure that you throw it in the garbage and not down the toilet. There's a real problem in this world and it goes by the name of Fatberg. It's a rock-like mass of waste matter in a sewer system formed by the combination of flushed, non-biodegradable solids such as wet wipes, and fat, oil, and grease deposits. And that is just because every now and then, people are flushing things down the toilet that don't belong. One of the biggest contributors to Fatberg are wipes. Now, whether they are wet wipes, baby wipes, flushable wipes, biodegradable wipes, whatever kind of wipe they are, if they are a wipe and they come in a package like this, they don't belong down the toilet. Just. Get yourself a separate little container, throw your wipes in there, and leave the toilet for the toilet paper. Us cat lovers are everywhere. And you know what? I spared you. I didn't show you the cat's actual toilet. Rather, I'm showing you a classy bag of unopened kitty litter for the express purpose of reminding you that even though this kitty litter and many say directly on the package that they are indeed flushable, they're not. I know you're trying to get rid of your cat's bowel movements in an effective way, but if you think about what kitty litter does, it absorbs things. So if you flush it down the toilet, it creates clogs. It creates clumps that are large and can't break down. So. Even if your kitty litter product says that you can break it down, this is actually one that really grinds the gears of city officials because they get calls about clogged pipes, they find out it's chunks of kitty litter, and there's nothing they can do about it, but they've got to spend tax dollars on dealing with your cat's toilet. 
So do yourself a favor and your city and all your neighbors and just take your cat stuff, put it in the compost or the garbage. There's not much more to say about this. If you're putting a Band-Aid on or the non-branded bandage, if you're putting one on, just take it off and throw it in the garbage. Don't flush it. Thick, thirsty, absorbent. These are all words that have been used to describe paper towel. Those words do not work well with something that would be flushed down a toilet. Ergo, these don't belong down the toilet. Whether it's a pill or a condom, birth control does not belong down the toilet. Now I get it, you might wanna hide certain things from certain people, and if that's the case, you can be really creative with how you bury one of these in the garbage. You know that saying, there's something in the water? It was probably derived from a place where people dumped all kinds of medications down the toilet. And that's because anytime something like a medication or a vitamin, drugs, anything like that, that you know you see on TVs and movies, all the bad people dump stuff down the toilet, um, wastewater treatment plants can't actually remove that stuff effectively. So what it means is it contaminates clean water and who knows what can end up in your glass of water. Even though they're made out of cotton, both cotton swabs and cotton pads don't belong down the toilet. And if you're looking for a reusable way to keep your face clean, you should check out our Maker's Luxury Face Cloth. I think the last time I chewed chewing gum was when I was in university and I was really anxious about something. Since then, I haven't. That was a while ago. But many people are still gum chewers and Gum cannot go down the toilet. If you think about it, it's essentially an adhesive. And if you throw it down the toilet, it's gonna clog up your pipes and do what it does best, stick to things. Hey, you know what else shouldn't go down the toilet? Cleaning products. I know, you're thinking, but I put toilet bowl cleaner in the toilet. Yeah, but you're putting a small dose down there. If there's a cleaning product you decide you don't wanna use anymore, the toilet is not the appropriate place to dump it. There are actually safe disposal sites within your town, city, or municipality that you can take hazardous household waste to and dispose of safely. While we're on the topic, things like paint, crafting supplies, that stuff doesn't belong down the toilet either. About seven years ago, I proudly became a member of the Menstrual Cup Club. But every now and then, you need one of these as a woman, so I still have them on hand. And of course, liners and pads are a world in and of themselves. But just because I haven't used a tampon in many years doesn't mean I don't remember my bad habits of the past where I would just flush them down the toilet. And that is a big no-no because a tampon is not a one or a two or toilet paper, and it can clog your system. So what have we learned? We've learned what we already knew. It's just a one, a two, and toilet paper that go down the toilet. Everything else, there's another place for it to go. And that brings me to this week's comment question. We're gonna play a little bit of would you rather. So my would you rather question for you this week is, would you rather deal with a clogged bathroom sink or a clogged toilet? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, this is such a hard would you rather. I am struggling to even figure out which one I would say. But if I gotta go with my gut, I'm gonna go with bathroom sink. I mean, really the last thing I wanna deal with is a clogged toilet. But bathroom sink is so gross too, I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with bathroom sink. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If toilet talk is still on your mind, we've got a video all about how you can unclog a toilet without a plunger. And if you wanna support the Clean My Space channel, we would love you to do so by subscribing. And you can also check out our line of Makers Clean microfiber cleaning tools. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.